Okay, a quick video to hopefully show you around the van. Um, the van's name is Bo, which apparently in Swedish means nest, because when we got it, there was a wasp's nest in the back. Um, right, this front bra is removable. Um, I haven't washed it yet, by the way. Um, headlights, very bright, these um, spotlights. So make sure you take the covers off before you run them. They were new old stock, um, quite hard to find. The uh, headlight washers don't work, um, but I've not investigated. I think that's probably a bad connection on a wire or um, maybe needs a new motor. So starting in the back, um, the bed here, fairly straightforward. You just lift it up, pull it out, and it lays flat. Oh, I can't do it one-handed, but you'll get the idea. Um, while we're here, this uh, is the gas uh, box. I've not left a gas bottle in there in case the uh, shippers don't like it. It uses, or well, I use Camping Gas 907. I don't know what you guys can get over there. Uh, that's the control for the heater. So once the gas is on, um, put it to a uh, fan and then set your temperature on the bottom. Um, in order for all that to work, you need to be switched on down here. Um, so what you've got down here is, that's the leisure battery van. Um, that's your water pump for the sink which is under here. Little switch down here, turns the pump on. I won't fill it up with water before I send it off to you. Uh, I've left some extra vinyl where you can see the heat has pulled this away. It needs sticking back down. There is some extra vinyl in the back there from the old headliner. Um, this leg here is the table leg. And the table uh, is up there. That just sits on the top of this here. Fridge here, lift up and open. So that works on gas or electric um, and it works on 12 volt or 240 volt it will burn the battery quite quickly on 12 volts there is under here there's the piezo wires um, if you pull this cover plate off you'll see i haven't wired those in they need a 12 volt connection running back through to the um the unit here i've been using it on hookup at sites on 240 volts on gas um, I can't remember the instructions I think you put it on uh, I think you put it on three then light it here and then you'll see in that corner the flame sorry in the fridge there's that you'll see the flame in that you probably know how to do all that um, there is an instruction book with it this mirror comes off sometimes because the the heat, the um, double-sided tape doesn't work brilliantly. There's a wardrobe in there. And the um, spare tank is there. Um, that's the pouch for the knives and forks and stuff. Then you've got glasses and you've got um, cups and plates and what have you under that. Um, in the front, uh, 
this seat cover needs fitting as you can see uh, it is a new seat cover um, hopefully you know how to do that I couldn't figure it out um, what else you should know all this glove box radio is not brilliant it's an original VW radio um, I did have a DIN plug that hooks up to the iPhone which works okay one thing from fitting the headliner the interior lights I think need earthing because they're not working they they do work the switches will work and everything but I think that just needs a fiddle with uh, starting and running and driving I'll assume you know how to do um, and then just two things in the back here is there's some other cups there there's a therm thermal blankets which go on the windows I never bothered with curtains I think these work better and they just attach with suckers so that keeps heat in or out depending on which you want um, this is a new pedal tray well not new but a good second hand pedal tray uh, the one that's on it is slightly rusted well it's pretty well rusted out um, it just needs bolting on it's a two minute job that should be easy enough um, I think that's about everything tow bar engine you'll know um, it's still on fuel injection everything's working fine um, I'll give it a wash and um, I hope you enjoy it <laughs>